Welcome back to this tutorial. In last week, we talked about Google. And we say that Google is modeling and validate and verification, validation and verification tools for real time system. And we know that Google use time automator or use network of time automator in modeling the system. And the time automator, time automator, it's actually it's a state machine or a state automator. In last week, we talked about the state machine or finite state machine or finite state automator. And today we will continue and we'll learn what the difference between the time it automator and state machine or finite state machine. And why do we need time it automator? State machine is not enough to model the system. For today's class, we will talk about the time it automator, the execution of the time it automator, and then how the time it automator is communicate with each other. And then finally, we give an example of time it automator. So let's get started. So what is the time automator? As we say, time automator is a finite state machine or finite state automator but extend with a clock variables. So same, it's a state automator, but we have to use some variables. So the problem with the time it automator, with the variables, actually sometimes we need to more control, for, to control the system. So we should to add some time automator. And as we say, in in Oppo, we use to model the system as a network of time and automata. And this it's communicate with each other by using uh, some techniques. So we will see each this. So in the time automata. It's actually it's state automator. Time it automator is state automator, but we have also a clock variables. So these clock variables, it's used to control the behavior of the system or the execution of the system. So these clock variables, it's actually can be used as integers integers and these it's uh, you can read this clock and you can uh, you can read this clock and you can compare this clock with some other variables and this clock also can be reset uh, this clock also can be used for control the system in the transition or in the input, when we add the input. So there, there is a place to control the system or to compare this a clock with other variables. So here, the time automator is a finite, finite state machine or finite state automator, but with clock variables. So these clock variables used to control the system and this is can be considered as a timer as a timer so in last week we uh, give an example which is the coffee machine as a symbol as a simple example of the coffee machine so what the problem? Why do we need to extend this with clock? Why? Actually, I put this example, I put this question last week, 
and today we will answer this question actually okay you can imagine with me you are in waiting state and then you move to adding sugar and then the behavior should be go to the next and the user should just press one time two times but the question here how long how long this user should stay in this for example in this state so maybe the machine will continue waiting forever or the user can continue pressing pressing the adding sugar so we should to add some variables to control the waiting for example waiting just the waiting maybe some example to buzzing this uh, from start to adding sugar so as we say as we say there is need to control the behavior of the system so in here as we say we can add condition here to control when the user can pass or can start the machine in waiting machine we can also add another another variables to control how many adding sugar or how many times should wait in this state so this is the main use for the clock so just to control the behavior or the execution of the timing so here another example which is light control or intelligent light controls so in this example actually we have three state of light and bright or of blue and then bright so this the, the this system is controlling by switch and once the user it freeze one times the state will or the system will move from uh, off to light if another press another times it will go to bright and then if press another times it will go to off and if he in if this the user in the light state it will move to off so all is just we have only one switch the problem of this state machine there is only one switch so if you are in the light and you press one times so if you press so you should you want to go to bright but maybe you'll go to off because only we have uh, one press and in light we have two options so we need to control the speed up so for example if you press faster you go to the bright but if you press slower you will go to off so we add a, a clock to control the speed up of pressing so let's see now how and where we can add the clock in the state machine and we can add a clock to control the time so we can add x as a clock and this x is to detect the speed of the user so the user if he press faster that mean x is uh, less than five and slower that mean x more than five so slower that mean back to off but faster that mean go to right and so on so we use here the x to control the times to control the times in this example we use the clock in two places or as two things we use it here to assign value 0 the value 0 to x and then we use it here and here to compare x with another number actually the clock can be used in many places can be used can be used to reset the value for example here the same place but we add another clock for example here we have two clock x and y and in the first time we use the clock in the transition to reset this clock 
here we use the clock to compare with another value so so here we use it as a guard so in order to move from this state to another state this condition should be satisfied also we add here I add uh, another clock just to explain that we can add we can use the clock in the state itself so we use it here on the label on the transition only here in the transition here in the transition but also can be used on in the in the in the state itself so here for example in this we can say that why or the user cannot stay in this state more than five unit of times so in the location also can we can use we can use the clock in the transmission we can use the clock so here another thing is the press as we say we press press it, it's action in the state in the time it automata we have also another action the action is used for synchronize as you say as we say that uh, time it automata or UPO in general use a network of time it automata so we need to uh, synchronize the action between this time it automata so we use this action so here as we, we again we say again the time the clock can be used in in the transition or can be used on the light or I mean or or can be used on the state so if it's used in the transition that means in order to trans transfer or in order to move from this state to another state this condition should be satisfied so here we call it is guard guard so we compare with another value if it's satisfied so we can pass to another but if it's on the state so that's mean we cannot stay or this is determined how long we can stay on this state okay back to also the coffee machine uh, example as we say here is the state machine so we can add another variables to control the this machine so here this is the same is that we add two clock two clock x and y so here as we say here this is we use it to reset the clock and then we use it in the state so if we use it in the state that's mean we control how long he can or how long the user can stay in this state if we use it the clock we use the clock in the transmission so we control also the transmission from one state to another state so if we use it in the state so we call it we call it invariance if we use it in the transmission so we call it is the guard also we can use it in transmission also we call it with it to reset the clock another assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh